activist and photojournalist Boniface Mwangi has written to senior government officials seeking clarity on the use of the wrong side of the road by VIP vehicles. Mwangi is demanding answers from the Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutyampai, Office of the President and Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Security. I made the request pursuant to the rights provided under Article 35, 1, and 232, 1, f, of the Constitution of Kenya, 2010. Article 35, 1, provides that every citizen has the right of access to information held by the state, Mwangi told Nairobi News. In the letter, Mwangi wants clarity on who has the right of way in traffic and how members of the public can differentiate between VIPs who are permitted and the rest of the vehicle that use sirens. He also wants to know if the VIPs who are on the list are allowed to drive on the wrong side of the road. Mwangi on several occasions blocked VIP vehicles using the wrong side of the road. In a recent incident when he blocked a VIP and posted a video of it on social media, many said Mwangi was wrong because the said VIP was in the list of those who were supposed to be given way. But according to Mwangi, there was no way of telling who the VIP was because there was nothing to differentiate the vehicle from the rest of government official vehicles. I and my fellow Kenyans are concerned that there are those within government and outside of it who are keen on operating in disobedience of the Traffic Act, to the detriment of other road users," Mwangi said in the letter. Mwangi also shared an instance where a government vehicle ferried Kinman who pretended to be State House staff and conned the head of same air group. In February 2019, it was reported in one of the local dailies that Mr. Now Shad Merrily, head of the same air group was a victim of these kunmen, who were ferried in government vehicles. The said gang of thieves was in a convoy of three vehicles and security guards, complete with police outriders, Mwangi said. Mwangi asked to be answered within 14 days from February 6, 2020.